Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Matter 16 gameplay. Today, we already made the playoffs. That is a guarantee. So, not really worried if we lose week 9 or 10. I mean, it'd definitely be nice if we go on ahead and, uh, you know, don't have to worry about that wild card game. But, as long as we go on ahead and and make the playoffs, which we already did, then that's a successful season. So uh, these next two games, like I said, not really worried about it. If we happen to win, that would be great. But if not, you know, not the end of the world. So uh, we begin our defense, and um, I want to go on ahead and tell you guys uh, a quick little story. So uh, this is back when your boy was in high school, right? And I got into a fight. So... I explained the fight and, um, you know, before, and basically I've seen somebody get jumped before and it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I have a fear of getting jumped and of anybody, I guess that, that should be worldwide terminology, right? But um, if for whatever reason you're in some part of the world where you don't know what jumped means, basically it's more than one person attacking one person. So it would be three guys beating the hell out of just one person he's getting jumped so um you know i seen somebody get jumped once and it was it was terrifying one of the scariest things i've ever seen in my life like it happened right in front of me and i was just completely devastated and that you know i have a fear of getting jumped because i seen it happen to be right what well, i seen it happen in front of me before so uh, you may, to make this fight a long story short, this guy came up to me. This is back when me gente was popping. I was in, uh, I was a freshman in high school, and a guy came up to me with like four guys, like, "Hey, I heard you talking trash." I mean, gente. If anybody doesn't know, that's basically like a black planet. It was basically like a MySpace before MySpace was like really popular. And um, so he, and some people are watching this as young. Like, what the hell is MySpace, man? Um, so I was like, what? Like, no. Like, I just go in there to talk to girls. Like, I don't be sending no dudes, no messages, you know, talking junk. Like, what? Definitely not me. He like, all right, no, let me find out it's not you. Or let me find out it's you. I was like, all right, whatever. Like, it's not. So one day I'm walking home, and uh, I'm walking, and he's like, yo. And I turn around, and I swear I put my hand on the Bible. May God take me away if I'm lying. There was a good 20 or more people Obviously, they knew a fight was about to go down. I didn't know. They didn't invite me. They didn't say GS fight going. Well, they, obviously, they wouldn't call me GS. They'd call me Nelson. But Nelson, this is a fight after school. You are participating. Be there. Don't be late. See you on the south side of the school. And uh, we need you there because you're the, the, the main event. I didn't know. I turn around and I see a gang of dudes. Now, 40% of the people there did not go to that school. So, uh, this dude comes up, and he's he's about two inches taller than me. Big ass dude, you know what I mean? But I'm about six feet, so, um, you know, we're about the same height, kind of. He had a little inches on me, plus he had a little fro, which added about five inches. Made him a little bit more taller. So, uh, he's like, yo, I found out it was you. You over here talking trash, yada, yada, yada. And I am scared of getting jumped. Call me what you want. I don't give a damn. Listen, I don't care what anybody says. I'd rather be a bitch then get jumped. I don't care what you say. I don't care what your friends think about me. I don't care what your mama think about me. I ain't getting jumped. Not after what I seen when this kid got jumped. So I'm like, yo, listen, it ain't me. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Listen, I could go on, I could log in in front of you. Whoever is talking trash, it ain't me. I don't know what the hell your issue is, but it ain't me. So this other random guy come up to me and he's like, uh, yo, he starts speaking Spanish. He gives me dap. And I'm like, I don't speak Spanish. He's like, what? You don't speak Spanish? And I'm like, nah. So I've never seen this guy before. So then me and the other guy start going back and forth. He like, da hello uno. Basically, like, hit me. So he jazzed me. Bong. I'm like, oh, snap. Hit me in my face. What am I going to do? He jazzed me. A quick jab. Like, nothing more than just a quick jab. No power influence. Like, no power. Just a quick jab. Shoved me back. I, I get shoved into the bushes. And, you know, I didn't fall. And they held me up. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, his hands is down. I would break this guy's face if I hit him and break his nose. Straight shot to the nose. If you ever in a situation you got to fight, aim for the nose. One shot to the nose and you're cracking it and they done. And, but I'm thinking to myself, as soon as I do it, as soon as I do it. Now, mind you, I'm literally surrounded by about 30 people. 30 people. As soon as I do it, I'm getting jumped. So I eat the jab, right? 
And then he does it again. Quick jab. Bang. And I'm like, you know, I got my tongue on the inside of my cheek. Like, yo, he did it again. He did it again. I swear on everything I love. I want to I, I wanna mangle this guy's face. But I have a fear of getting jumped. And I know as soon as I crack him, I'm getting. Some people are like, no, nah, forget that. I don't give a damn. One person come down with me. Tough. Gorilla unit all day. I don't give a damn what anybody got to think. You best believe. You better check my police record. I don't give a damn. Can't nobody hold me down. Plymouth Rock. I mean, Plymouth Rock landed on us. That's how we roll. And I'm like, all right, tough guy. You go ahead and do that. You get jumped by 17 guys. Have fun. I don't give a damn how many people you take out. I don't care if I was able to take out 11 of the 30. That still means I'm getting jumped by 19 people. Nothing happened. But anyways, fast forward short. I, you know, I go home. I'm upset. My brother sees me, you know, visibly, you know, clearly upset. I'm like, yo, dude try to jump me. And, I, and, I, and, I, and after that second jab, he's like, yo, don't, you know, go home, whatever, and let me not see you around, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. I'm going to be back because I need my education. So I go back. I got to keep going. I got to hurry this up. So I keep going, right? I tell my brother, listen, you know, if somebody tried to fight me and, and he had 90 dudes with him, it was like I was on the final level of a freaking NES game. I didn't know what the hell was going on. So many people came out. So my brother's like, all right, we're going to go there, point him out. We're going to fight him. I pointed him out the next day, and my brother punched him in his damn face. I ran to him. I got in a few punches. A few of his boys tried to come up to me. I threw one dude off me, and we fight, and we fight as me and my brother against like three of his people. But I felt more confident because I wasn't going to jump at my brother. So I had to do community service. I do community service, and uh, the community service is at a goodwill. This is why the story, you know, that story was for this story right here. I, I do my community service at goodwill. I had to do like 45 hours. It's the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. Nothing like community service working for free, and they know you're there working for free, so they told me to do everything. I'm over here lifting couches. I'm going over there, and they're just like, there's like mad racks of clothes with, with little uh, signs on them, how much they cost. And basically, they're like, uh, yeah, go there and fix that. And I'm like, what do you mean fix it? It's a rack of 13,000 shirts and blouses and pants. What do you mean fix it? Just whatever that means to you, fix it. Are you kidding me? And then I got this, <laughs> there was this older black guy who always, <clears throat> I don't know what that is. But to this day, he, I just, I have a vision. He'll, <laughs> 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 Always did that, and I always had to do all his work because I was working under the freaking uh, community service. So every day I went there, logged in about four hours. This video is coming to an end. The rest of the story will be told next video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's your boy GS. We're gonna go on and be sad. Look at my bird looking sexy on the bottom right. Like mm -mm, you better finish this damn story. Listen, not enough time. What you want me to do? I had to tell me getting jumped. I wish I would see that dude right now, man. I wouldn't do nothing if he had 30 dudes around him like last time because I don't give a damn. I don't care how old I am. I'm not getting jumped. I'm not getting jumped. I refuse. Listen, I try to fight fights I can fight. I, I know I can win. Like I told my fiance, listen, if a guy the size of Kimball Slice slaps your ass and you tell me, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm going to tell you, why is your ass touching his hand? I'm not that guy. You know, both of us can't get knocked out. Who's going to drive me home? If I get knocked out, wake me up. I'm going to be well rested. And then we head to the hospital. I can give them my insurance, tell them the information, and then we're good. But if I try to fight him, and then you're going to try to help him because you better try to help me because you love me. You're not going to sit there and watch me fight for my life and not help. No, you better help. So then he's going to slap you and knock you down, and you're going to get knocked out because he's so large and vicious. And then I'm going to get knocked out, and then both of us knocked out. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody got to drive me to the hospital. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. It's your boy, Jess. Follow me on Twitter. Peace.